¿Qué tal amigos? Yo soy Penta, el cero miedo del... Soy Rey Fénix, desde México Y soy representante de México en esta World Cup Oh man, I feel uh, so proud I feel uh, very happy Come to England, come with uh, WCPW uh, And represent my country and represent Lucha Libre contento ya que México es mi país, eh, vengo representando a mi gente, mi tierra y sé que este es un gran torneo donde están los mejores luchadores del mundo y por lo tanto es algo muy especial para mí. Yo sé que Fénix es un rival muy duro, nos conocemos muy bien ya que es mi hermano, todo el mundo sabe que Ray Fénix es mi hermano y nos conocemos a la perfección, creo que va a ser un lucho muy interesante ya que los dos sabemos nuestras debilidades y yo lo vamos a sacar aquí en Everybody Everybody knows Pentagon is my brother uh, and we have the same dreams and it's a little difficult my first round uh, uh, face to face my brother uh, but excited uh, I know my brother is my my best uh, my best partner but my best rival Yo voy a ganar esta copa el día de hoy, ¿saben por qué? Porque yo soy Penta el Cero. A demostrar lo que es Rey Fénix. Viva México. Right now, though, let's cut to the tail of the tape for our opening qualifying match. That's right, we break it down here, take a look at the differences, and there are not many. These two know each other very well. It's going to come down to who makes the first mistake. Lucha Libre style, so uh, unique in the wrestling world. This is going to be a tremendous showcase of that kind of style as we get started with the Mexican qualifiers. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest set for one fall. It is a first round qualifier in the Pro Wrestling World Cup. Coming to the ring in this time, wrestling out of Tijuana, Mexico, and winning tonight at 94 kilos, this is Penta El Cerro Miedo. In the last year and a half, This luchador has taken the world by storm. Right now, he is arguably the most popular luchador walking the face of God's green earth. A lot of his success comes from his exposure with Lucha Underground. A lot of his success is his own because of what he has done with the spotlight. Feast your eyes on Penta El Cerro Miedo. So he's giving our referee Joel Allen a hard time, but then again, so does everyone else. Current Lucha Underground Champion is Penta. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent from Mexico City, Mexico, winning tonight at 74 kilos, Ray Phoenix! And if anyone can go hold for hold, move for move, with Penta El Cero and Miedo, it's going to be Ray Phoenix. And of course, many of our Lucha Underground fans recognize Phoenix, but now fans all around the world get to experience the unique athlete that is this man right here, Ray Phoenix. Ray Phoenix has been wrestling since the age of 15. Now 26, so an 11-year veteran. Oh, your math skills are on point, buddy. Thank you. Stu, I'm going to go to you. What would you do in a match against a quicker, faster opponent? How do you try to shut down the abilities of guys like Ray, Phoenix, and Penta? 
Well, for someone like me, it's a case of getting as close as you can, as quickly as you can, grabbing them, driving to the mat, and punching them in the mouth as many times as you can. You're not necessarily going to see that kind of style tonight from these two, because they both match each other incredibly well with their athletic abilities, but this is going to be quite the spectacle, trust me. Referee Joel Allen is uh, having final words here with both competitors before we get underway. Oh, look at this. These two know each other very well, and they understand what's at stake here. Remember, all the personal animosities aside, whomever comes out of these qualifiers at the end of the night, they return back to Mexico and they get a hero's welcome. But those that fail, they have to go back to those locker rooms as well. A lot of pride on the line representing Mexico and representing Lucha Libre. Well, the point needs to be made that this match right here, Penta versus Ray Phoenix, would sell out any arena in Mexico many times over and the fact that this is an opening matchup in the mexican portion of the wcpw world cup is quite frankly incredible yeah, it says that one of them will go on and one of them will not that's huge collar and elbow tie up push off there the two tr trying to feel each other no hang on what is this from penta he's uh, removed one of his gloves and handed it to the referee Penta telling yeah. Phoenix he has oh, nice. zero Miedo, no fear. That's right. Nice trap on the arm. And of course, if you watched any of Penta's matches, you know he likes to break his opponent's arms. Nice unique submission there. I don't know if he's going to get the concession so early on, Ray Phoenix. Needs to be able to lock both of his hands. You see the leg strength of Penta. And now the arm strength is able to turn this hold around as Penta keeps control of the appendages, reassembles them. And now what do we have here? Look at that. Headstand between the shoulder blades right. of Phoenix. Nice roll up, shoulders are down, referee a little out of position there. And back into that side Looks. headlock and yeah, Penta had his uh, shoulders yeah. down temporarily there. Referee definitely made up for it there with those counts and now back in the right position. Leg sweep and trip, trying to turn his opponent over here. And uh, now Phoenix gonna yep. try for the submission a second time. Oh, look at that. If you remember greats like Great Muda and Eddie Guerrero, this move is certainly familiar to you. Wade, what's Penta going through right now? Where's I have the pain? no idea. Quite frankly, I've never seen a hold like that in my life. And that <laughs> speaks volumes for the unique style that we see of these Lucha athletes. I want, uh, want to thank everyone for, for joining us this evening as we come to you from the Coventry Sky Dome. If you want to get involved uh, with what's going on, maybe tell us who you think is going to emerge from this bracket of the Mexican qualifiers. The hashtag for social media is Pro Wrestling World Cup. Please do join the conversation. It looks like early on both fighters, and a little bit of a hassle pain there, are working on the legs of their opponent. And that's smart because with the Lucha Libre style, it's a lot of springboard. Ooh, I'm not going to translate puto, but those of you that want to look it up, go right ahead. And this mule kick doubles up Phoenix. And now this is what you'll get from Penta. A lot of hard kick strikes. Phoenix had it countered. And that's where Phoenix is most Whoops. dangerous. Surprising with that, that pin attempt. Penta, though, doing something very similar. Oh, ow. Yeah, leg drop attempt, no one home. It's a moonsault from Phoenix. Go for the cover, but Penta very quickly out. The pace is quickening here. This leg sweeps there. Oh, and you'll know, I'll notice something here, and I'm sure, Stu, you'll notice it as well. Penta was up long before Phoenix was, and that tells me that Penta's on top of his game. 100%. He knows he has his hands full with, with Ray Phoenix tonight, and of course, this match could go either way. They know each other incredibly well. They've scouted each other's performances, met in the ring many times, and they're going to have to be on top form to get through to the semifinals. So that is an important point here as well. This is not the uh, nice. only match for one of these two men. Hang on a second now. Here we go. Lucha Libre on display. This is the Pro Wrestling World Cup! What a move from Ray Phoenix! And the point you just made, Dave, that they may well have. The winner of this match will have another matchup tonight, of course. And moves like that are incredibly dangerous. It takes something out of yourself as well as your opponent. That high-risk offense could end up costing you later on in this tournament. And that's a great point, of course, with tournament wrestling. We've talked about it before, Dave, you and I. That lactic acid builds up. After each and every match, you go back to the locker room, you cool down. Then you have to warm up and go back out and wrestle again. It's not that easy. 
So let, let me ask you then, guys, how does that change the strategy here? If, if you're approaching the first round of a tournament match, do you approach it any differently to another match, or do you just leave it all out there? Like it can normal? be very difficult to change your approach because changing your approach takes away from what you do well. But quite simply, you want to end this first round matchup as quickly as you can, take nice. a minimum amount of offense oh! as possible. And there we go, a super kick right to the jaw of Ray Phoenix. Penta will go to the ropes. Phoenix goes for the close. I know one there. And nice goes behind. Sling blade clothesline here. That is a signature staple in the offense of Penta. And Penta a little slow for the cover there. There we go. Penta furious. He knows he could have ended that match up there and gone back to the locker room, cooled down before the big semi final match. Instead, mm. this match continues. Yeah, you better leave the referee alone or there'll be no suplex sweatshirt in his bag when he leaves. Winner of this match will face the winner of the Drago versus El Ligero contest, which is coming up immediately after this one. Well, the brackets have been made, and now you can see the distance between the two. That is a big thing in Lucha Libre. The more space between the fighters, the more they can build up momentum and build up speed. Penta taking some time to uh, address the crowd there. Hang on, Dave. Oh, that's me. <laughs> this is a large building whoa, 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 whoa. and that's echoed all around it. The, the most simple on. move in professional wrestling, but perhaps my least favorite to be the <laughs> recipient of. Believe me, I've been on the, the receiving end of a few bear paws from people like Big Show, and that was mm. as loud as any of them. Nice out. Nice oh, out. beautiful oh, maneuver. Goes for the cover. Cocky cover by Penta, though. Which you see just kicking out before three there, and he seems to be on his last legs at this point, and Penta is getting closer and closer mm. to the big ending for this match. No expedited shipping out of Joel Allen right there as Penta tries to control the head, takes a minute, takes his eyes off his opponent. Now these two begin to trade forearm blues. That one from Phoenix seemed to rattle Penta. Now they're getting more into my territory. You just smack each other as hard as you can. These two really are going for it. Penta is taking control here, or at least he was. Phoenix will, uh, oh, there you go. Oh, for my money, the Penta has the strike advantage, but Phoenix has the move set advantage, as evident right there. The cutter floats over, hooks the leg, two, not enough. Wow, and as much as Lucha is an art form, and it's about displaying your aerial abilities, this one has broken down into a pure fight, and it's all because they want to win, they want to get through to the next round of the Pro Wrestling World Cup and represent their country, Mexico. A lot of nationalistic pride on the line here as Phoenix traverses the distance. Nicely done there. Phoenix rolls back. Let's get momentum. Oh, gosh. Huge boot to the side of the face. Schoolboy, yeah, roll, roll through. Goes to get the super kick, and Phoenix is going to do a somersault into a nice. frog splash. We'll go for the cover. Fire. This to advance to the semi. Oh, 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 that was close. Both men having the opportunity to win this matchup, but still they keep going, keep fighting. Yeah, we saw it on the tail of the tape how evenly matched these two are, and I said at the onset it's going to come to a mistake. We know that Penta has the strike advantage, and we can see that Phoenix has the move set advantage. It's going to come down to a mistake somewhere along the line here, guys. The say? momentum has ebbed and flowed, but it truly has been a 50 50 matchup. I'd say it's the move set advantage, but Penta has that fear factor, that package pile driver, That's which right. if he hits that, it is game over for any wrestler in the world. Oh, gosh. For the cover here. Oh, oh, how oh, on oh. earth did Ray Phoenix kick Jeez. out of that one? You saw how limp Phoenix's hand was. It told me I thought he was out. I thought that was three, but no. The explosive power of Penta there just blew me away. Talk all you like. And listen to this crowd. They appreciate it. It certainly is. And let's not forget, this is round one. <laughs> Second round still to come a little later on. We are in the Coventry Sky Dome. So many great fans have packed in here for this amazing Lucha Libre spectacle. It's Phoenix. What's he doing here? He uses what his opponent as a base, and now these two. Precarious. I want no part of this. Ah, big old Frankensteiner off the top. Phoenix up. Oh, hang on a second here. Oh, wow. Mexican destroyer, if you will. Right on the top of Panzer's head. This might be it. Oh, no. Goodness me. There was no leg hook there, and that could have been the difference. How close was that? That must be the, the closest near fall of the match, as you saw Panzer's head bouncing off the canvas from that flip pile driver. And once again, the opening match, this crowd is blown away. 
Penta is reeling in the corner. Look at him. He looks like he's got nothing left. I was just going to say, as the pace slows down, that behooves Penta. Phoenix, Ray Phoenix is going to need this match to be quick. Penta off the top. Oh. oh. They... Mexican destroyer go, of his here own. We go. Here comes the fear factor on Phoenix. See, uh, Penta will go for the cover, and it is academic. Big win. And look at everyone in the crowd standing, standing on their feet. And I'm going to do the same thing because these two with deserve you. it. Penta, El Zero Miedo showed no fear in this first round of the Mexican qualifiers for the Pro Wrestling World Cup. But it begs the question, after such a drawn out match taking high F offense, what is left in the tank of Penta? Uh, he will have a little while to rest. Now, now let's just see if we stay with the action in the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your winner and advancing in the World Cup, Penta El Cerro Miedo! That matchup was deserving of a main event anywhere on the planet and for any company. And we've just witnessed it in the opening round. That is match one, ladies and gentlemen. And this is what I was wanting to see here. Mutual respect, admiration. These two have to go back to Mexico. They have to go back around the world and entertain the masses. That is the heart of Lucha Libre right there. Well, I've got no time for that whatsoever. I'd rip his mask off. So Penta El Zero Miedo advances after a hugely competitive match with Ray Phoenix.